I recently released a video showing me doing morning chores where I move our egg laying hens from one point to another. Uh, this sparked some questions. Why do your chickens live in a horse trailer? It was one of them. Well, to answer that question, we first need to look at the industrial farming model to understand why we raise ours in a horse trailer. Something that may surprise you is that the hens that produce the supermarket eggs you probably have in your refrigerator, they have their beaks removed at an early age. This is done so that they don't cannibalize each other. But why would a chicken eat another chicken? Well, it's because they're stuffed into tiny little cages with several other chickens and given the minimum required nourishment to keep them alive and produce eggs. If they weren't deep beaked, they would cannibalize each other. Let's take a look at how most of your store-bought eggs are produced. These chickens are deep beaked stuffed into cages for their entire lives and then ground up when they are trampled on by their fellow inmates or they stop producing eggs. I think we can all agree that this is not humane. It also produces nutritionally poor eggs. The eggs you get from this model are in fact eggs, but like only in the sense that one of those trucks you can order from China for like two grand and have it delivered to your curb in a crate is a truck. I'll explain what I mean in a moment, but back to the horse trailer. You see, this is just a form of what is known in the regenerative farming movement as a mobile coop. Ours happens to be made out of a stock trailer. It was abandoned on our property by the previous owner. After I extracted it from the trees that were growing up through it, we turned it into a mobile coop. But why a mobile coop? Okay, fair question. But before I tell you, I need your help. If you find this content useful or entertaining in any way, please subscribe and hit the like button. You can make a real difference for this channel in just a second. Okay, the first reason. We need them contained, or else they would be roosting on our porch or possibly our neighbor's porch. It doesn't take long for chickens to turn a grassy green area into a patch of compacted dirt or mud. Naturally, chickens roam free, scratching around for insects and grazing plants and grasses. They never stay in one area, turning it to dust and staying put until they die. So we mimic nature by moving them frequently. We have to contain them, but we don't want to contain them in one area. The second reason, we use them for fly control. Yeah, we move them behind our cattle, which are also rotated, and the chickens eat the fly larvae hatched in the cow manure. The chickens not only control the flies, making it more comfortable for the cattle and for us, they spread the manure around, covering our pastures in organic fertilizer. The chickens also leave their own nitrogen-rich manure behind. Third is predation. See, by moving the chickens often and protecting them with the electric netting, we make it more difficult for coyotes, foxes, snakes, and birds of prey to attack. We haven't had an issue with predation in the four months that we've been doing this. Fourth, and most importantly, egg quality. Remember my truck analogy? Just because you can call something a truck, it might look kind of like a truck, it doesn't mean it's gonna haul a load. Industrial eggs don't nourish you the way real eggs do. We don't have eggs here yet, any day now. I can't wait. But we do buy our eggs from another local farm that raises their hens in the same way. And let me tell you, pasture-raised eggs are so much better. In every way, the yolks are a completely different color. I mean, you can see the difference. Look at this color, and they taste richer. There are a ton of studies that also list the nutritional superiority. I've got an excerpt here from a report on a Penn State study, and it says that Penn State's College of Agricultural Sciences has shown that eggs produced by chickens allowed to forage in pastures are higher in some beneficial nutrients. In the research titled Vitamins A, E, and Fatty Acid Composition of the Eggs of Caged Hens and Pastured Hens, that's a mouthful, researchers examined how moving pastured hens to forage legumes or mixed grasses influenced hen egg omega-3 fatty acids and concentrations of vitamin A and E. The study also compared the eggs of the pastured hens to those hens fed on a commercial diet. The difference was striking, according to lead investigator, Heather Karsten. I'll put the link to that report in the description. That's why we raise our chickens in a horse trailer. It makes it easy to move them. And the horse trailer was free and available. 
It just took a little bit of welding and some lumber to recycle it into a mobile coop. But it's also why I hope you now consider buying eggs and other produce from a local regenerative farm like this one. I guarantee you, you have a local farmer doing this and your local farmer would love to have you out and give you a tour and add you to their customer list. You don't have to become a farmer to end inhumane industrial farming practices. You just have to meet one.